Good morning, ESM. I'm Owen. I'm Jaden. Uh, we we uh, breaking news. Nice. Singleton has worked at Dr. King Elementary School for over 17 years as a social worker. She is said to pick up kids along the way to school if they have, for whatever reason, missed the bus or can't get a ride. The child poverty rate in Syracuse is 48.4 percent, a small decrease from the 49.6 percent in 2015. Outside of school, so many children face situations such as homelessness, gun violence, and money problems. The staff at Dr. Ele Dr. King Elementary has done so much outside of their job titles to help provide for the kids who don't get much at home. Dr. King is one of the eight schools which provides their own health care center with a nurse's practitioner, teeth cleanings with a dentist, and therapy sessions with a mental health pr professional. School principal Kershey's Alexander says, we love our babies and we want the absolute best for them here. We're going to do what we can to help our families so we can help our babies. After 40 years of service and clusters of people waiting at the door, the Armory Square staple Possibilities is now taking reservations. Monday night, the, re the restaurant announced it would be taking a limited amount of reservations. The restaurant is taking reservations of 1 to 12 people up to 3 months in advance via the Open Table app. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please make sure you check out the new feature on the English bulletin board next to the English office across from B41. The title is featured, The Artist Dismantling the Barriers Between Rap and Poetry. Through the two forms of Remain District, today's rising stars in both genres are creating a shared literary ideal that gives voice to the black and brown experience. Uh, yoga Club will meet Thursday, April 28th after school in the library. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a friend. Uh, mats will be provided. Join us as we celebrate and prepare for, four, for the fourth marking period. See Miss Welsh or Miss Fulner with any questions. Namaste. Girls team, track team destroyed JD and Fulton yesterday. For the girls, Aquatic Connie won the 100 hurdles. Devani McDuffie won the 100 dash. Riley King won the 200 dash. Ariana Fingelstein won the shot put. Sophia Jackson won the discus. Ryan Butchko won high jump. Margaret Madling won triple jump. Amber Hayes won the 400 hurdles. And all the girls relay teams won. The boys track team beat JD and destroyed Fulton yesterday. Mike Parks spoke a 41-year-old school record for the 110 hurdles with a time of 14.2 seconds which also puts him at first overall in the state. Mike won high jump as well. Rocky L won the 100 meter dash and triple jump. Kevin AC won shot put in discus. Luke Mancini won pole vault with a personal record of 11 feet. And Aiden Hurt won the 400 meter dash. In upcoming games, the boys tennis team has a match at Syracuse City at 4.30. And I'm Tanner with your sports. What's up to you? All right. So for me, I want to everyone else here at the morning show have an amazing Wednesday.